What's going on Trade Guard family? I had so much fun crafting my last botch of Digimon Battle of Omni that I want to craft another one because I got such insane pulls and I just want to see if it can happen again. Like it's hard to believe how good of a botch the last one was but I want to see if this one's just as good to show to the community hey it's worth it to get this botch. In my opinion as of right now this is the best set of Digimon that has been released yet and uh, I hope that holds true with this botch. Now let's get to it. Alright, so here's our second bots, and I can already imagine how insane the pulls are about to be. With that being said, pre-release patch. Gotta open that first and see how this is. So like I stated in my last video, you got a pre-release patch for each bots that you bought, so here we go. I don't know the extent of how the rarity works with these, if they only kept it very basic, but we'll take a look. Alright, Izzy and Mimi, and a Gigimon. Not bad, I feel like I saw that patch get open, so like I said, it's kind of up in the air. I don't know if uh, there's anything crazy that you can get, like uh, if you can get the alt arts, if you would, and then be in the pre-release. It's something I'll look up, and I'll try and be more informative on my next video, because I'm actually very curious myself, because I feel like a pre-release Omnimon would be pretty cool. Ooh, Nokia, very awesome. We got a Nokia bots topper, which is great because I think she's the best one that you can pull, so not complaining whatsoever. We're already off to a miraculous start, and I can't wait to see what comes of the rest of this video. All right, sorry, now we're a little more situated. Now let's get to it, I can't wait. First pack, let's see what we pull. Once again, if y'all saw my last video, or if you're new to the channel, show the last video. Um, the Battle of Omnibots was uh, insane. The pulls were gross. And I'm hoping we can recreate that because it was beautiful. Neptune Mon, you can't actually fly. Fate Daughter Mon, Expert. Arata. Oh wow, was that three rares? Oh no, two rares. Sorry. Alright, it's a pretty basic pack. It's cool. Got a bunch of commons and uh, some uncommons. And two normal rares. That's cool. What do I hear first? Alright. Well, if the bot shows anything, I feel like I only had a, less than a handful of packs that looked like that and so many packs that were so much better, so I can't wait. Marimon, Kayubamon, Marine Devimon, Pillamon, Carisamon, Meteor Shower, Palamon, Absolute Blast, Boncho Lilymon, A Blazing Storm Metal, Omni Shoutmon, and Mega Digimon Fusion. Alright, not the best start for this bots, but alright, we're getting rares, and you know what, a lot of that stuff isn't bad. Like I was said in my last video, um, Digimon makes me really happy, because even your rares are feel like you pull some major heat because there's easily $10 rares in every set and it's amazing. Because really it's really based on what they do and not so much the pitcher stuff. <laughs> Meta Digimon Fusion. Ooh, Taptamon. Purple. I actually need him for a deck so that makes me really happy that he pulled him. And he is when attacking activate one of the following effects below if you have no other Digimon in play. Activate all the effects below instead. Gain one memory. This Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn. It's lead to three of your opponent's, opponent's level 3 Digimon. And that's a super rare. And that's the first hit. And uh, all I have to say is gross. Because that's crazy for a level 6. I'm not saying a level 6 isn't a lot, but all that. Like people, I feel like, would play that even if it was like, hey, you gained one memory for playing this guy but you're giving them all that extra stuff. It's just crazy. Madness. Carissa Rurimon. Talmon. Vajramon. Dorbikamon. Daramon. Supreme Cannon. Pitsimon. Rosemon. Gigimon. Shooting Starmon. Medidramon. And Medidramon. All right. So not huge hits, but stuff that we definitely needed for the deck. But we'll see what happens, because, uh, 
We definitely need some big hitters for uh, my deck. I feel like I'm going to play probably a purple this uh, block because purple just became insane, which heads up. Oh, Diaboramon, very nice. Nice, we finally have a place at a Ward Rudamon. Sagittarius mode. Sorry for jumping around, but what I was going to say is if you follow like websites like DigimonMeta.com, that's one of my favorite ones, it shows the future of what's going to become of the metas, and I mean... In my personal opinion, you're foolish if you don't look at it because it's literally history writing itself because a lot of the English stuff is almost uh, mirrored for what's coming out in Japan. So, you know, you may think you're building this awesome meta deck right now, but it could be completely 180 by the time the net set comes out. So, definitely recommend looking at other countries, so specifically Japan. Soren, Joe is the rare. Black War I'm on, which is awesome because I need another one, so I'm happy about that rare. Two those right there. So far, a little rough on this box, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? Not every bot's gonna be like the last one. But this is good because I really wanna like crack more boxes to see if like, hey, was that bot's an anomaly? And like I said, some of my friends said it wasn't, but uh, the pull rates were just insane. Like, rarely ever do you get a bot's of trading cards these days and you know the cards are worth three times what's in the bots or what the bots was worth when you paid for it which is scary because I don't know it just says Shotmon Dietz all right second hit super rare and another black war drum on which is great because I need a place of this for my purple deck sorry but like I was saying in the last uh, during the last fight is a uh, you know rarely do you open a box of cards and make money off of it because they're kind of designed for you not to do that or the market dictates it but right now Digimon is awesome it's wide open people are wanting to play it because it's a fun game and in my opinion one of the most fun TCGs to play so I would recommend looking into it Takumi rare and a Renamon, which is another good one. Honestly, I think that's like the level three yellow card, in my opinion. But what do I know? <clears throat> also, looked and see if anyone I know needs Shaman DX too, because that's my second one. I pulled them. I don't really know if I want to play it. I guess maybe if I was going to play red and blue deck, maybe it would work, or just a straight up red deck. I don't know. Black Gralmon, Triceramon, Garbagemon, Gladimon, Meteor Shower, Ultimate Flare, Shooting Starmon, Toramon, Montiamon, there's something to behind this, Metal Greymon, um, my bro AA Ron, that's for you, and what do we got here? Whoo! Yes! Another super rare, that I need, Chaos Delantamon, this dude is like my best friend in this set, honestly. It's pretty crazy how much Digimon looks out for me by Pokemon, because I'll be like, yeah, I really need this, a set of, a place out of this card for a deck. And Pokemon's like, oh, that's cool. Well, you can buy it. And Digimon's kind of like, oh, you bought some boxes? Yeah, of course, man. Just, there's a place that trading card, bro. <laughs> Marine Devimon, Starmons, Museumon, Monochromon, Ultimate Flare, Garurumon, Gilmon, Shieldamon, Tasunamon, which, once again, I mentioned in my last video, Stable Blue Digi Age. He's the best one so far. Izzy and Mimi. Saka Yuamon. I think I pulled one of those last bots. Interesting. So far, what I'm praying is, is that in these last couple of packs, and when I say last couple of packs, more than half the booster bots, we pull some more heat because so far. I'm not amused, but what I will say is you're supposed to get one alternative art per box, so I'm really intrigued to see what that one is going to be. Because I don't think we're going to... I'm realistic in the sense that I don't think we're going to reach the potential of last bots because last bots was just straight uh, god tier, if you would. Metal Greymon, another one, nice. And a Nokia. Honestly, we didn't do anything crazy in the pack, but I like both those cards. Just Metal Greymon, Alturius mode, and Nokia's fire, as far as from a play point perspective, but uh, like I was saying, um, yeah, like, 
the last box was just insane, so I don't expect us to meet that, but at least if we pull some cool stuff, that'd be awesome. Because I'm going to keep opening bots of this, because it just, this BT5 changes the meta so much. I'll delete and rent them on. I'll delete specifically. Literally need a playset of that as staple in the future of the decks, because, uh, I was talking to a friend who played Medizu before, and honestly it was funny because no one played it at my LGS, and he started playing it, and he took first, I think like the second week he started playing it, which says something about that meta, i.e. it's tangible. From there, if you're talking about that, look at all delete, where it's basically like a, a board wipe with these Ocean of Omnimons really opens the board for an Omnizu deck and I feel like people are going to start playing that, just saying. And I mentioned that before about it being a tier 1 deck and I think it's more relevant than other. So Blazing Storm of Metal, Black Wargrimmon, Omnimon Etz Antibody. Sweet, second one we pulled, super excited, not the alt art, but I'm okay with that because you know what, the, pri the price of the cards don't change before. Um, Pre-release is done, hopefully, because right now that card is like $70, and that's gross. I mean, it's a really good card, don't get me wrong, but... Did you want to me into you? We don't need to UDO it. It's not about how much money you have. Just open boxes and pull cards. It's fun. Weedmon, Commandermon, Desomon, Talmon, Jokermon, uh... Gladimon, Ultimate Flare, Pikamon, Gilmon, Greymon, Weesamon, Hetz, Blaumon. Um, nice. I'm not sad about that. Uh, what I'll say is, I'm glad we pulled another one of these because everyone who's playing blue can't stop talking about this card. For a good reason. Uh, when attacking, trash, or, trash up to two Digivolution cards from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards and plays Digimon needs jamming, all turns your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards to hand attack or block. Yeah, I, you know, Blue's not really about denial, or at least I didn't think they were, but that one's pretty good about locking stuff down, and it's awesome. Um, going back to the Omnimon Etz Antibody, I don't love the card, it's good, like I don't have any complaints, right? I just would be happy if I pulled the alt art because as far as the collectability standpoint, when I open new cards, Nokia, Armageddon, sorry, another super rare, that's my third one. You know what's scary is uh, I just that's the only secret rare I pulled so far. But yeah, what I was saying it was anyways is I like the uh, alt arts for the collectability. When I open new card games that I really have a passion about, I uh... I like to kind of archive the history, so I feel like it'd be cool to get my hands on one of the altar of the Etz antibodies just for the sake of uh, historical purposes, but we'll see what happens. Triceramon, Florimon, Badgermon, Palmon, Rowdy Rocker, You Can't Actually Fly, Superstarmon, Gigimon, Arata, and Terriermon. Alright, two rares, I'll take that. So far, this is rather interesting because there is eight paths left, and so far we have six hits, which is pretty good, right? So last box, we, by this point, we may have had eight hits. What does it matter? We had nine hits overall. Uh, I think two to three secret rares, and the rest were super rares. Kind of insane, so I'm really excited to see what else this box has to hold. Uh, War Greymon rare. Bulukamon. Uh, your turn inherited once you once per turn when you trash a Digivolution card, one of your opponents did you mond in one memory. Eh. They did. Either way, I'm excited because I'm gonna keep crowding bots. It's just this set to me is just insane. Like even with this bots, like I can't be upset. I mean your Etz body is or your Etz antibody is like a seven dollar card. Armored Edmond's like twenty. Hetz is like twenty. He's like twenty. Uh, can I really be upset? Dorbikmon, Totemon, Monochromon, Black Jaggermon, Marine Devimon, Supreme Cannon, Jokermon, Gigimon, Chris, Tsunamon, Terriermon. I don't think I've pulled him yet. Waru, Monz, and Meon. 
Poru, Monzamon, yeah. Rare for black. Level 5, 6,000 DP. 2 digit evolution. Don't know why he's a rare. I mean, I guess it's alright. Since a lot of current other colors, rares are like 4K, but like not the best thing I've ever seen. It's really surprising. Beautiful if you do the pre release and you're still watching this video. Get him. Triceramon, Paldramon, Weedmon, Royal Nuts, Nightmon, Garurumon, Fate Audermon Experiment. I see some of the dead in the back, I'm scared. Revive from Darkness, Neptune Mon, Earth Shaker Rare, Omnimon's Wart. Worth it. Like I said, this bots. Like any of these bots, is you just make your money back. There's so many good cards in BT5. You just need to buy more bots. Like $50 card all day right there. And uh, right now, I'm sure it's fluctuating as people open boxes, but uh. Yeah, how many months works a beast? Like a staple in purple, tangible in black, but just purple all day. Yeah, him and Z Zwart and Zwart defeat, just staples. Alright. Uh, black Monster Damon, Demonic Disaster, Nightmon, Gigimon, Yokomon, Zabumon, something insane. Alright, we got Ty. Sorry. Ty and Matt, love them. Whoo! Yeah! Chaos Galantamon, super rare. It's an alt art or parallel rare if you're in Japan. When did you evolve and you may delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon? Your turn once per turn. When one of the other Digimon is deleted, you may play one level 3 purple Digimon card from your trash that will paint memory cost. Any on play fets on Digimon, cast with this effect, don't activate. Uh, sweet hit. Definitely playing that on my purple deck. And right now I'm really happy because we're reaching that, we're at that eight pull threshold and there's four packs left. So I feel like, I feel like we're gonna pull something great. I'm also happy with how many Ty and Mats are pulling because I feel like that's gonna be a really hard one to pull based on the fact that I feel like a lot of people are about to be using that Tamer. Whether you're playing blue or red, or a zoo type deck, or purple, like a lot of people are like, yeah, Omnimon sounds alright, he's gonna be in my deck, which is cool, but potentially disastrous. Omni Shoutman and Arata, I said that weird, it's okay, we're moving forward. Alright. Cutemon, Tamandramon, Sinkamon, Morishelmon, Troopmon, Garurumon, Royal Nuts, Gobumon, Spiral Masquerade, Rosemon, Catastrophe Cannon, Argomon. Alright. Not the best, but who cares? You're gonna tell one of those paths. Overall, still can't be upset just so far, right? We have 8 hits, and there's 24 paths in the box. So if you think about it like that, it's really not bad considering that's a third of the bots is hits right there. Um, one secret rare. We had three last time. We'll see if we can match that again. If not, it is what it is. We're going to attract more bots to get ready for uh, this net set or for the tournament. Earthshaker and Ty. And let's pray we did some last back magic now that I have like three play sets of Earthshaker and Ty and Matt. Which is cool, I just said, because they're better than a lot of the other ones. Here. Overall, though, let's kind of reminisce and look at this. And uh, we made our money back on this bot rather quick, even with less hits. So I'm not upset. That was our alter chaos and uh, something to be upset about. Caramon, Monochromon, Codymon, Daramon, Paledramon, Jokermon, Audrumon, Tusunamon, Infernamon, Neptunemon, Takumi. <laughs> Metal Drurumon. Sick. Uh, I'm really happy we pulled this card. Uh, it's a super rare. I'm almost positive this is an alt art. I could be confused. So I apologize. But what I'm going to say is... it's ups I'm upset that he plays black now. Because I loved the purple one. But I love the card. So I'm really happy we pulled it. And with that being said, we ended this on 9 hits. 
Um, was the spots worth it? Yes, 100%. $40 card, $60 to $70 card, 20, 20, 20. I can't remember, but I'm sure more than 20 if that one's 20. Don't know, don't care, whatever. This bot's killed it. Once again, thus proving the Battle of Omni is the best Digimon set yet. So like I was saying, trading our family, Battle of Omni is killing it. Please, please, please ditch yourselves a bot and enjoy it. Crack it and you're probably gonna pull heat. Cause even what could feel like the worst pull in another set is just amazing in this set. I, I feel like there's so many good cards in the meta right now, there is no way to lose money on it. So don't buy single pats, just hit up your LGS, support those little game stores like I love doing, and uh, just buy a bots and you'll have a blast. Make a video, whatever you wanna do, cry it with your friends, have a good time, it's gonna be worthwhile. But until next time, I'm the Trading Heart Bro, and I appreciate you Trading Heart family. Get excited because a Korra kit starter is starting soon, so just check that out. If you need any information about it, hit me up on my Instagram, it's at Trading Card Bro on Instagram, and uh, I'll point you in the right direction, just that game is taking off and it looks amazing. So I know they appreciate the support and I do too. So uh, have a good one, Trading Card family. Peace.